Bernie Madoff died on April 14, 2021 in prison, where he was serving a sentence for orchestrating the largest Ponzi scheme in history. The scheme caused estimated losses of over $65 billion to thousands of victims, including Hollywood investors who trusted their funds to Madoff, and many of them have yet to receive their due restitution. Here are some of the most famous victims of the fraudulent scheme, according to international publications. The financial losses suffered by Bernie Madoff's victims varied greatly, depending on the amount they invested. Some people lost only a few thousand dollars, while others lost hundreds of millions. Here is some information about the losses of some of Madoff's famous victims. Steven Spielberg lost around $10 million. Steven Spielberg has not made any public comments on the matter, but sources close to him said he was devastated and heartbroken by the loss of his money. Kevin Bacon and Kyra Sedgwick lost all of their life savings, including retirement money. Kevin Bacon and Kyra Sedgwick issued a statement saying they had lost all of their life savings, including retirement money. They said they were devastated and that their trust in the financial system had been shattered. Elie Wiesel lost almost all of his personal fortune and the funds of the Elie Wiesel Foundation for Humanity. Elie Wiesel was deeply shaken by the losses suffered by his charity foundation and said the fraud was a betrayal of his organization's values. John Malkovich lost over $2 million. John Malkovich said he had been duped like many other people and was deeply upset by the situation. Larry King lost around $1 million. Larry King said he was annoyed and shocked by the loss of his money, but said he would overcome the situation. Zsa Zsa Gabor lost over $10 million. Zsa Zsa Gabor sued Madoff's lawyer and accountant, claiming they had been negligent and contributed to her financial losses. Jeffrey Katzenberg lost around $20 million. Jeffrey Katzenberg said he had been deceived by Madoff and was incredulous about the situation. Mortimer Zuckerman lost around $30 million. Mortimer Zuckerman said he was disappointed and shocked by the losses suffered, but said he would continue to work and invest. Eric Roth lost over $500,000. Eric Roth said he was upset about the situation and had learned a painful lesson about the importance of carefully checking financial information. Norman Brayman lost around $5 million. Norman Brayman said he was very sad about the financial losses, but said he would recover. Fred Wilpon lost around $700 million, the amount includes losses related to other investments, as well as losses in the Madoff scheme. Fred Wilpon sued Madoff's estate, claiming he had been deceived by the fraud and that the financial losses had seriously affected his business and personal life. It is important to remember that, for many of the victims, the financial impact of Madoff's scheme was devastating, regardless of the exact amount they lost. Thank you for watching up to this point and please subscribe to the channel. See you next time.